Libya, where tensions have yet to impede since the 2011 Arab Spring, has recently been struggling with two different power centers. On one side, there is the government of national accord, which is officially recognized by the United Nations, NATO and the European Union. While on the other side, there is General Khalifa Haftar, the leader of the militia named the Libyan National Army. It is no secret that there are a number of paid fighters in the ranks of Haftar, supported by military officers from Egypt, the United Arab Emirates and France. Sudan's obscure group Janjaweed militias, rebels in Chad, Russian mercenaries are the most prominent foreign elements. The presence of the Sudanese taken to Libya by the United Arab Emirates with the promise of working in security companies is especially included in the statements of the fighters. This situation, which is also subject in the UN reports, is ignored by Haftar and his supporters. Via visual data, not only agents follow the trace of Sudanese mercenary fighters used by Haftar with support of the United Arab Emirates. All written texts and reports containing Sudanese mercenaries and Libya were scanned within the first stage of the research. According to information, Sudanese fighters received three months of military training primarily in the Al Gayati region of the United Arab Emirates. After the trainings, the Sudanese fighters are brought to the military airports in Libya, near Haftar controlled Benghazi, Sirte, Ras Lanuf, and Al Jufra. From there on, they are dispatched to various parts of the country to fight against the government of National Accord. As part of the research, visual data indicating the presence of Sudanese fighters in the mentioned cities were scanned. Videos recorded in different places or in enclosed spaces, which are impossible to verify, were eliminated. Only few videos were left. The video titled Sudanese mercenaries fighting in Benghazi for Haftar was selected and analyzed. The active use of the social media account from which the video was obtained, as well as the uploaded images being from Libya only, reinforced the possibility that the video was shot in Benghazi. However, geolocation technique was used to be sure 100%. The building and object arrangements were revealed by drawing a bird's eye view map from the video in which approximately 100 to 200 Sudanese fighters were pledging their war oaths for Haftar. Despite the heavy fog, it is seen when carefully observed that there are two buildings which thought to be oil tanks in the background with industrial light poles around it. This indicates that this is more of an oil refinery than a military base. At this stage, the oil facilities in Benghazi were checked through the Google Earth satellite service. However, the building arrangements of the facilities here did not match the drawing made by Andoli Agency. Later, a list of all oil refineries in Libya was laid out and satellite images were checked one by one. The salt building arrangement was found at a refinery plant near Al Jufra, ranked 51st in the list. The mentioned facility largely matched the drawing of an Anadoli agency. However, the confirmation process continued as the satellite images of the facility were last updated in 2016, and some structures in our drawing were different from the one from the facility. The name of the facility was searched on social media and the internet, and it was determined that it has a Facebook account with over 2,000 photos shared. 
The selected photos from the account were compared to the drawings made by Andoli Agency as well as to satellite images. All three data matched exactly to the building arrangement in the video. In this respect, the video that Sudanese mercenaries took war off on behalf of Haftar was shot at the Zella 74B oil field near Al Jufra. All the findings lead to the collaboration between Haftar and Sudanese hired fighters. The fact that Haftar, who is fighting against a legitimate government in Libya, used foreign fighters in his illegitimate fight with false promises is blatantly obvious. <laughs>